we're back out here in the outer court. Once I come through that outer court, I don't want the stench in the outer court, nothing but a bunch of guts and mooing cows out here. I want to go in there where the presence of God is, the sweetness of God is, the revelation of God is, that I can have relationship with him. That's where I want to be. I'm tired of the outer court, and it's time to go on. And I believe that that's part of what God wants to do this week. He wants to get us out of this outer court. He wants us to understand the outer court, but he doesn't want us to hang out here. He wants us to hang out where he is. And even a little deeper, past the other veil, because the other veil had been ripped. We're going to see that tomorrow night or sometime. I don't know how it's going to work. We might be here until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. But God's up to something. And so we have a problem with the hearing of the Word of God. We hear with the ear of the Spirit. That's what we and pastors said. Okay, we're going to anoint the Levites this morning. We started with the ear. Went down to the thumb and for their hand, you know, for their service, what they put their hand to, and their feet that they can at least walk straight. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, there's so many people. If you go back, do you know there were requirements for the priesthood to go back to Leviticus chapter 21? If you were crooked footed, in other words, you can't walk straight. Boy, I'm telling you, there are people all over the spectrum. One minute they're in bed with somebody else's wife, next minute they're standing up and praising God, never with a bit of twinge of, 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 of embarrassment or anything else. God says, no, there is a way. In fact, Jesus says, narrow is the road that leads to life, and there be few that find it. That's why he had them locked in. And that, that's why God locked the nation of Israel into a, 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 a tabernacle that was so high that nobody could see in. The world wouldn't understand. The world does not understand this. If somebody's turned that television on watching this thing, what in the world are they doing? Are they camping out? Yeah, man, we're camping out with God. And the priest, when they're in there burning incense, guess what? Next time that whoever may, might be married, I don't know if y'all are married, got girlfriends or whatever, but they're going to say, where in the world have you been? I've been in the presence of God. Amen. That's the way this whole thing works, is that we should be in the presence of God. And when we come out, the world should say, I don't know what's different, but there's something different about you. Yep, been in the presence of God. <laughs> 